Welcome everybody to this video where I'll be showing you the improvements we've done to the 3D rendering pipeline in Harmony 24. There are different rendering options for 3D models in Harmony 24 depending on the look and quality you want to achieve. For example, in this scene here, I have a 3D robot, I have the gates, and I have as well a prop in the hands of the character there, and each of them use a different rendering engine. Let's do a render preview of this frame and look at the different elements. Right here at the front, the gates are rendered using the graphics card and the new tune shader node that we have in Harmony 24. The droid here is actually rendered using Blender and multiple passes to do the different effects, the highlights and the tones on his body. And the prop in the character's hand in the back is rendered using Arnold through Maya. Even though these elements are rendered using different rendering engine, they're all composited together in Harmony. So let's look at the gates and add the Tune Shader node right here. With the Tune Shader node, you can have the option to draw a line around all the geometries or not. So let me make it a little bit bigger so we can have a clearer view of the line. You can change the color of the line using the options right here. I like to have it a little bit darker like that, closer to the gate's color. You can also render it in grayscale if you're just doing layout and you don't want to have all the colors, just tick that box and it's going to be rendered in grayscale. But for this scene here, I just want to have a thin line, so I'll go back to a value of eight, and this is how the gate is rendered. Now, if we look at the robot, the robot is actually rendered using Blender. How does this work? So when I start a software render inside Harmony, Harmony launches Blender and sends all the information that Blender is required to render the model. It sends the position information, the camera information, and as well as where the Blender scene is located. It renders the frame, then sends it back to Harmony and Harmony composites that together in the scene. If we look at the droid only, we can see the 3D depth right here that was received from Blender. So this allows us to render and composite the frame correctly in Z depth with the rest of the elements of the scene. For example, if I go at the end of the frame, we can see that the robot is going inside the gates. And if I do a render right there, is going to be rendered between the gates. So let's look at the 3D element that the character is holding in the back. This element is rendered through Arnold in Maya, and it's the same process as with Blender. When I request a render, Harmony starts Maya, sends all the information that Maya requires to render the frame, and then this frame comes back into Harmony and is composite with the scene. One of the improvements we've done in Harmony 24 is that we keep the external application alive after the frame has been received by Harmony. So if we request another frame, we don't have to relaunch the application. We can just send it the information it needs to render the new frame. Another improvement we've done is we've added this toolbar here called the external rendering toolbar that can be used to pre-render frames or bake frames right into the scene. So when we're doing renders using an external application, the frame is cached in the scene in the element folder so that Harmony is able to reuse that frame if ever you come back to that frame and no change has been done to the camera or the 3D model. Let's dig into this group right here and select the render blender batch node. When the node is selected, I can use this button right here to open this dialog that will allow me to bake the renders of that node. I can select which frame I want to bake, if I want to bake the whole scene or just a portion of the scene, and click Render. What that does is that it will bake all the frames, render all the frames, and then import them back into Harmony so that I can use them to replace a 3D model in my scene. So that I don't need to have the 3D model anymore in my scene to be able to see what the actual rendered result will be. And this can be done with Blender or this can be done with Maya. All these improvements to the 3D rendering pipeline in Harmony 24 make it easier and more efficient to use 3D models inside 2D scenes in Harmony. I hope you enjoy these improvements and hope to see you back soon.